how you've been taught to manage a team is ineffective and doesn't work. I should know when I was given my first management assignment, I was told sink or swim. And unfortunately, in that early time, I did more sinking than I did swimming. When I got my first management assignment, I was basically thrown out into the deep end and told, hey, figure it out. Over the course of that time, I was given a lot of tools. I was given a lot of resources. I was even given some training by my boss. And all of that fell short. And the reason why it fell short is that it really missed the critical component of managing well. And that was, who was I as a manager? What were my skills, my abilities, and my talents? And that was the thing that was missing for me. My name is Brandon Allen, and for the past 13 years, I've helped hundreds of business owners improve their management processes. And not only have I helped them improve their management, they actually like doing it. I promise. Just to kind of illustrate my history and, and where I've come from here, I was working with a dentist a few years ago, and I never forgot this call. He said, Brandon, I hate dentistry. I hate my team. I hate my partner. He really was disillusioned with running a dental practice. And maybe you can relate to that a little bit. Now, when I hear something like that, what I recognize is that a lot of times we don't dislike the things that we do. We dislike the way that we do them. His practice was successful. He was profitable. They were doing a decent amount of revenue every single year. So what was the problem? The problem was people. He had a hard time engaging and leading people. We sat down and talked about some of the things that we go through with the management skills magnifier and really helped him to uncover where his blind spots were as a manager and a leader of his team. And the cool thing about this was doing that process and just changing his approach to people, his practice grew 30% that year in revenue and net profit. And he told me, Brandon, I've never been more excited about my practice than I am right now. He was so appreciative of being able to go through that and recontextualize the way he was interacting with his team. So just like the dentist that I worked with, it's easy for us to feel like a fish out of water when we're managing teams. A lot of the things that we do in management do not feel natural, they don't feel intuitive, and so it's really, feel, it's really easy to feel like we're out of our depth when we're in this process. But with the right approach to self-discovery and using that self-discovery to identify the right tools, you can enjoy management and simplify the way that you manage and lead your teams. The biggest mistake that I made early on in my management career is I tried to do things the way that other people did them. I would listen to what they would say, I would listen to their approaches, and I would say, well, I gotta try that too. And time after time, my approach fell short. And the reason why it fell short is it wasn't specific or unique to my gifts and my abilities and my talents. I had to find my voice in management and going through some of the processes that we're gonna talk about in these videos and in our course is going to help you identify what those are for you as well. The process that we use to help with this discovery is called the Management Skills Magnifier. When we use the Management Skills Magnifier well, it does a few things for us that I think are really powerful in our leadership journey. Number one, it helps us to empower other people. The reason why management is hard is because we put too much of the burden on ourselves as managers. Using our process helps you to take some of that responsibility and transfer ownership of that to people on your team. The second thing is, is regarding retention and hiring. And I don't know about you, but I think this is super important to my business and it's a great way to either spend a lot of money or save a lot of money. And I don't know about you, but I would prefer to save a lot of money than I would spend a lot of money. And going through the Management Skills Magnifier will help you to retain and identify the best talent for your business so that you reduce the costly effects of turnover. And then the last thing, and this is probably the biggest thing that I hear from clients that I work with, is team continuity and culture. 
We hear about culture all the time. We hear about team building all the time. And I'm not talking about getting up on some platform and falling backwards into people's arms and doing all sorts of trust exercises at a retreat. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but there's things that we can do on a day-to-day -day basis as a manager to really impact the team continuity and the way teams work together. And I know if you've ever been with, on a team that has worked really well together, you know how powerful that is and how stress-free it is as a leader to be a part of that sort of a team. So imagine this. Imagine you step away from your business for two weeks and you go on a vacation. Maybe it's the vacation of your dreams. And you come back and you see that your organization is running just as well, if not better, than it ever has. Now the concept of going on a two week vacation probably isn't weird, but when you're a business owner and you're a leader, sometimes getting away from the office or feeling like you can get away seems really difficult to do. When we go through this process with the Management Skills Magnifier, this puts you in a position to take some time away from your office, enjoy time outside of your office while coming back to an office that's running like a well-oiled machine, that people are communicating and getting along, and best of all, that is getting results. And I don't know about you, but one of the things that I hated as a leader early on in my career was coming back to an office that was in disarray, that was in chaos, because time off felt like a punishment. It didn't feel like a benefit. All right, so in the next video, I'm gonna break down what is the management skills magnifier, how does it work, and give you some actionable steps that you can take to start thinking about your management differently. So I want you to check that out. All right, so here's what I want you to do. We want to work with as many people as possible to take them through the management skills magnifier process and put them on the path to great management and leadership. But our time and our resources are limited. We can only help so many people. So what I'm doing right now is I'm inviting you to check out our early bird list because you're going to get first access to the course once it comes out. And this is some of my best content and resources that I've ever put together in management. I'm really excited about it and it's something that you don't wanna miss. So what I want you to do is I want you to click the link below, join the list, and stay tuned for our next video where we really dive into the management skills magnifier in a little bit more depth to really show you what it is and how you can apply some of this information immediately to your management. Stay tuned.